Howdy y'all, Texas Spartan here. Welcome to the channel. And let's just go ahead and get into the patch notes for title update 1.1.0. 1 um, so what we're looking at is for Xbox One, we got a 14.7 gig update. And PS4 is 13.7 and PC is 11.3. Uh, I'm just going to go over the highlights. Uh, I will leave the link to the actual patch notes down below uh, in the description as well as down in the comments. Um, so mainly making improvements to the night vision. I know a couple people were looking forward to that, especially Franktastic. Uh, fixed an issue where players got stuck when pressing both the left trigger or the left bumper or L1 and L2 on PS4 while prone if they had the rocket launcher equipped. Uh, fixed a crash occurring in the snow regions when flying too high oops, while playing on PC. Uh, these are the actual graphics cards that it was uh, going on with in the AMD Radeon line. Uh, fixed an issue where EMP grenades Mark II were not available to buy Maria's even though you had them unlocked. Um, Players who previously lost their thermal or night vision will get them back after loading their save. That's what I'm talking about. Um, players who previously lost their camp water canteen or binoculars will get them back after loading their save. Also, awesome. Uh, fixed an issue that sometimes respawn players with minor injuries. Um, I guess that's more after you uh, reload and you have that bandage around your calf muscle or, or whatnot. Um, Fixed an issue that removed backpack items with a quantity of zero if they were replaced by another item. Rebalanced stamina for the PvP. Yes, that's going to make it so much better. Um, that doesn't help with all the other glitches with the other weapons and the uh, strafing glitch, but uh, I haven't run into those. So, um, to do rebalance the cooldown on the ping system in PvP. Uh, it was taking too long between each ping. Uh, let's see. Tone down the coughing noises. So there you all go. Enemies will no longer shout in pain after being shot in the head. Um, fixed AI behavior. Basically, uh, a lot of the times, if there's going to be a lot of people, a lot of NPCs or enemies that you kill, um, they will not keep rushing at you. They will go and hide. Um, Let's see, looting intel on Rosebud's body is no longer mandatory. Once you pick it up, um, that's it. You'll get the intel. Uh, fixed issue where part of the L3 GP night vision goggles was static and not attached to the item. Oops, uh, where was I? Uh, fixed an issue that caused the ghillie gear paint to change when the players changed their pants color. In the Wolves bosses missions, no, that's what exactly what I was saying. Uh, you loot the intel when you pick them up. Uh, improvements on the base jump mechanic, more improvements on more title updates to come, uh, fixed an issue that prevented players from accessing a new class after unlocking it, I didn't have that issue. Um, here is the digital scope, multiple levels of zoom. Uh, let's see, fixed priority said that the interaction button now prioritizes mission givers over vehicles. Uh, reduce the time it takes for the item sold pop-up to disappear, so it'll go away a lot faster. Um, fixed an issue that caused several stats to reset to zero after creating a new save slot or deleting one. And here's a bunch of the ones people aren't going to like. Uh, for the raids, fixed several issues that caused some bosses to stop moving in some cases, so the DMR glitch is gone, y'all. Um, LMGs with 150 ammo capacity, the Stoner MK48 6P41 have been nerfed by 17% and note that it's only for the raid boss fights. Uh, LMGs with 100 ammo capacity have been nerfed to n basically nerfed by 7% and that's only for the raid boss fights and they did nerf the HP of Ball, the Quantum Computer and Cerberus by 5% each. So. But that's all I'm going to cover right now. Uh, like I said, I will leave the link to these patch notes down below. But if you did enjoy the video and you want to see more, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch y'all next time. Texas Spartan, out.